67% of Ford Mustang customers opted for the Coyote V8. As you'd expect, more 2024 Ford Mustang customers are opting for the 5.0-liter Coyote V8. According to Associated Press, demand for the V8-powered Stong is high due to the era of the traditional muscle car coming to an end. Of the 13,000 U.S. orders placed for the 2024 Mustang, 67% of customers opted for 8 cylinders. The V8 produces 486 horsepower in the GT, but Ford can squeeze as many as 500 horses out of the engine in the track-ready Mustang Dark Horse. On top of that, Ford spokesman Mike Levine said more than a quarter of Mustang buyers want the six-speed manual transmission. Guidehouse Insights analyst, Sam Abuel Samit, thinks customers are going for these because they'll likely be the last of their kind. The most hardcore fans, they're going to go out and grab one of these because you don't know when it's going to end, said Abuel Samit. Abuel Samid also said that it's usually hardcore fans who are first in line when the Mustang is launched. Therefore, the first batch of orders tends to match up with the historical definition of a muscle car. This matches up with Ford's opinion on the matter. We tend to see more demand from enthusiasts for the V8 whenever an all-new Mustang is introduced, said Jim Owens, Mustang brand manager. Long-time muscle car rivals like the Chevrolet Camaro and Dodge Challenger are on their way out. Chevrolet announced the 2024 Camaro will be the last for now. Chevy hasn't ruled out a return, but Dodge is going all-in on the electricity. The increased demand for the V8 engine may sound positive, but the days of large displacement engines are numbered thanks to stringent emissions laws across the globe. The European Union has already changed its legislation to allow for vehicles powered by synthetic fuel. As for the Mustang, Levine wouldn't say whether this version of the iconic pony car would be the company's last gas-powered muscle car. Ford is likely waiting to see whether synthetic fuel could be an affordable alternative to gas or whether it should start designing a plug-in powertrain around the four-cylinder EcoBoost models. That remains to be seen. Levine said.